Howdy, I'm Andy, Snowy Pines Ridge Farm. We're getting a lot of questions on the website regarding the aquaponics system. Uh, so we do, thought we'd do a quick video this morning. Outdoors it's about 42 degrees, indoors here it's about 80, 82 right now. So the hot tub's retaining a lot of the heat to help heat the greenhouse. The hot tub is built on a log base. I built it up on the log base because I knew it was going to be pretty heavy. I picked the hot tub up at a local spa dealer. Uh, some customer came in and bought a new hot tub. They wanted to get rid of their old one. So the spa dealer just took the electric pump out and then they gave me the hot tub. Pretty much traded them a bunch of eggs for the hot tub. Over there we have a sample of the pH that I took the other night just to see where we were at. Over on the far corner I have a solar light that not only helps attract bugs at night time to feed the fish, but it also helps uh, pollinate the plants inside the greenhouse. Inside the hot tub we have our spiraling algae growing and we have a couple of fish in here right now. We're eventually going to be putting bass and perch and other things in here. Heather put a plus, uh, an algae eater in the other day just for fun. Over here we have the valving. Like I said, I, the electric pump's no longer in here, but I went ahead and utilized all the hot tub valving in order to control the flow. As the water goes from the hot tub, it goes in through this pipe, which I've got plumbed into the top of the aquaponics grow bed. One of the main things you have to remember on these is you have to have enough flow going through the bed to not only feed the plants, but also to make the bell siphons work properly. I built the grow beds out of CDX plywood with 2x4 framing. And I looked into pond mat lining material, but it's very expensive. And I figure if you're a missionary out in the field or a prepper, uh, or just a family trying to get through these hard economic times, it'd be a lot cheaper to buy 6 mil black plastic. As the water goes through the grow bed, it goes into our first set of rocks to help keep the little rocks out. And then from there, I went ahead and put a secondary screen to help protect the bell siphon from getting clogged. If you see on the bell siphon here, I've got two cuts out on it to help control the flow into the standpipes. The standpipes are kind of set up like your toilet. Uh, as the water goes up, the water goes down the hole and it's pressurized with the bell siphon. As the water goes in through the standpipe, it goes down the pipe into the next grow bed where you go through the peppers, the tomatoes, the strawberries. I've got a pumpkin here I'm thinking about putting in and I've got a, a pruning that I had of an apple tree that started sprouting so I thought well heck I'll go ahead and put it in the grow bed see if I can grow some roots. Then as the water goes through the grow bed it goes down to our second, our second bell siphon. And then from this standpipe it goes in to the only part of the system that's electric. Eventually it'll be 12 volts so I can control it with solar or wind or whatever but right now it's on regular household current. This three-tenths of a horsepower sump pump I picked up at the local Ace hardware store. At the bottom of this pipe is a check valve. That helps the water from going back in after it's gone towards the hot tub. This pipe here is our other standpipe that allows the water to go into the trash can. As the water goes into the trash can, it, help, it makes the float valve here go up. The float valve is what actually, or float switch, it actually controls the pump to make it work. As, it ra as the water raises, it kicks the pump off. The reason I went with a sump pump was it's a lot cheaper to run that. It only costs about $20 a year versus a continuous pump going all the time. As the water goes through the pipe, it goes back to the hot tub. Where as the water goes into the hot tub, it oxygenates and keeps the water moving and circulating. As the water circulates out, it goes right back into the grow bed. Any questions, concerns, comments, please leave them on the website. I'm Andy, snowypinesridge.com, and thanks for watching. Keep your stick on the ice.